Okay, now that we've fit our cape and we're making sure that it's going to fit properly and that this form is going to work, now I'm going to start shaping up my form a little bit. And since this, this uh, Oryx does have shorter hair, I'm going to be able to get a little more detail in the muscle tone and stuff like that, that that's going to, in the folds and the neck, since it has a turned head, I'm going to be able to emphasize these, these folds on the side of the neck and in the face and stuff since it does have shorter hair so that's kind of fun we can we can work on that and it is going to show up in this mount so you can see already on the form how they have the lines they, they've already pretty much got the lines I like to take my Dremel and kind of just dig into those a little bit more so I have nice tucking you know to really push that height in there once I get my glue in there and especially here on the face, and I like to emphasize this kind of big vein on the face, and I'll show you all that. And I also use it to uh, dremel out my nose because I, I, I make my own septums. So I will, I will dremel out my nose, and then we'll also dremel out where we're the clay base for our ears. And um, so we'll go ahead and start that. and. And these are, again, the lines, the folds on the side of the neck that I'm going to make sure I kind of dig in a little deeper so I have good tucking. Uh, I can tuck that skin in there good once I get my hide paste on there. So I just usually use my Dremel, and then I'll even hand sand a little bit just to make sure my edges are nice and rounded and it's a nice, smooth form again to put that hide on. Okay, so now that I've done taking my Dremel and pretty much gotten my outline of where my creases and folds are going to be on my form, my, mus my musculature and all that kind of stuff, and the stuff I want defined, and everybody's different, every taxidermist is different, some taxidermists just throw, it up, throw their cape on there the way that, you know, the form came. I like to add a little more detail and definition and sometimes I'll build up muscles even more with clay or something like that. But this one is, is pretty good and since this has short hair, I'm going to be able to get pretty good muscle definition. So now that I've, now that I've pretty much marked all, dug in pretty good with my Dremel, I use a Dremel. It's faster and easier for me. And then I go back with some coarse sandpaper and I'll come back in and I'll kind of smooth out all those edges and make sure I don't have any sharp edges or anything anywhere you kind of ran off with your with your Dremel you know I'm just going to kind of soften any edges because remember muscles are nice and soft and rounded we don't want like really sharp hard edges or anything like that we want to make it look as natural as possible a nice flow and when you run your hand on the form you and on the on the mount afterwards you know you want it to feel like you're petting a real animal so um that's that's kind of what I do how I do my prep my form prep and then next I'll show you how I dremel out and dig out my nose and create a septum Okay, and I'm using a 60 grit sandpaper, which is a coarse grit sandpaper, to go back in after I Dremel to kind of smooth everything out, kind of dig in a little deeper, because remember, I want 
my hide to set in when I, once I paste it, I want it to set in to these uh, crevices where I sanded to, to emphasize the muscle structure. So that's why I'm going back over it again with this 60 grit sandpaper to make sure it's good and even dig in a little deeper to really make that muscle structure stand out. I'm just kind of like to emphasize that jawbone, that jawline. This is the underside of the jaw. You don't have to, I just like to kind of emphasize, emphasize that jawline. watching us here at KNC Taxidermy. Remember to like and subscribe us here on YouTube and join us next time for our latest creation and we'll see you then.